Matteo Messi is on a mission to take over football. He's got the skills like his dad, insane dribbling and goals so crazy it'll get you off your feet. <laughs> These are the seven times Matteo Messi shocked the whole world. And wait till you see the stuff he did that almost ruined his dad's legacy. But first up, Matteo recreated one of his dad's greatest goals and somehow made it even better. When Messi was just starting out in 2007, he was a young kid looking to break into the Barker first team, but because of his age and small size, he found it tough early on. The coaches at the youth team knew he was talented, and finally, he was given a chance against Gattafi in the league, and that's when he pulled off one of the greatest goals in football history. Took out seven defenders and still managed to score, and even made that Ankara Messi dude famous for life. Leo performed wonders that day. Fast forward to the future, and now Messi had kids that were looking to emulate him, particularly Matteo. Now, Messi's admitted in the past that Matteo was the more natural footballer out of his three kids, and I legit thought he was just trying to please the kid or say something nice for the cameras until Matteo showed the entire world just how good he is. Whoa, how old is he again? Eight? I'm definitely sure his dad must have been proud of that one. Matteo's amazing. That goal had people searching for Matteo comps all over YouTube, man, including me. But you see, some people believed this goal was a fluke, that the other kids just allowed Matteo to breeze past them and slam it home. And being Messi's son, even at such a young age, Matteo knew it wasn't going to be enough to pull this off once, he'd have to do it again, just like his dad in 2015. Barca and Bilboa in the Copa del Rey final. Messi was the star attraction, so the Bilboa team had players trying to mark him and watch his every move. But it kind of feels like Messi was just allowing him to chill in the opening minutes because once he found his groove, there was no stopping him. He picked a pass from Dani Alves and the rest was history. He really did go all the way. Messi's goal helped Barker win the Copa del Rey and ultimately the treble that season. Even though Mateo wasn't born at the time, growing up and later watching his dad get an entire stadium up on their feet like that must have stuck with him. Because ever since, he'd been practicing his dribble skill set. And right after hitting that first stunning solo goal, he knew he had the talent to pull it off again. So when the doubters came calling the second time around, he answered like a pro. Look at him go. He's even got that Messi shrug on him as he sprints to celebrate. It's like watching Messi play, only he's eight years old. But there's something Mateo's been doing that has Messi worried because the stuff he's pulled off is nothing like him. On the pitch, Messi's a nice guy. Sure, he takes on players and makes defenders piss themselves sometimes, but in reality, he's super friendly. Mateo, on the other hand, is mischievous. Just ask his mom, because here's what she wrote for him in an IG post for his sixth birthday. You are a beautiful crazy, the only one who manages to drive me crazy. She did wish him a happy birthday, but you get the idea. The kid has always got something up his sleeve, even his dad tends to agree. Mateo was the same as me when I was little. He doesn't like to lose at anything. He loses and makes a mess, what I was. He doesn't know how to lose. He doesn't like to lose. Okay, I get it. So he's a sometimes naughty kid who doesn't know how to lose. But what can go wrong? His brother's leg. Messi saying Mateo doesn't like to lose wasn't cap. The kid takes every game like a final, even if it's just a kickabout with his brothers. Antonella was filming them play in the living room when Diego had the ball, and Mateo attempted to pull off one of the craziest slide tackles I've ever seen. Damn, that tackle was so hard it left his brother in crutches and almost took his leg off. Mateo's a really feisty dude. Let's just say you don't want to get on his bad side because he's a nasty troll and will come at you if he gets the chance. Mateo's always on the lookout for opportunities to mess with his dad, but maybe he took the next one a bit too far because after revealing a huge secret to the media, pretty sure it was giving Messi sleepless nights. All through his career in Spain, Messi only played for one club, Barcelona. He made his name there and became a legend. He was even the club's records goal scorer, had the most assists, and won a bucket load of trophies there. Now, you'd expect a club legend's son to follow in his dad's footstep and support his team, right? Well, let's just say Mateo's built differently. He watches television and celebrates Real Madrid's goals to irritate the ego. Mateo's a Madrid fan? Incredible. 
That explains the heavy tackling. The kid must have been watching Sergio Ramos' YouTube comps. The only thing Mateo and Messi Leo have in common is they both sub to Mr. Football's channel on YouTube, and it was Mateo's idea, so they never miss a video and get the latest notifications. Mateo's the ultimate troll, and he uses the one thing the one game he knows causes his dad so much pain to get at him. In 2019, Barker was on the verge of completing a historic treble. They had raced past everyone in the league, got to the final of the Copa del Rey, and beat Liverpool 3-zip in the first leg of the Champions League final. Messi was convinced his team was going to win. He even gave a speech. Yikes, just like that, the wheels began to fall off. And what happened next was one of the biggest bottling jobs in Champions League history. Barca lost the second leg against Liverpool 4-zip and was knocked out. It was an emotional day for Messi, man. He couldn't believe it. I even heard that Anfield noise still haunts him and his teammates to this day, and it's so crazy that one of his closest buddies, Sergio Basque, hasn't dropped an IG post after that defeat. But it gets crazier too, because in the Copa del Rey final, on home turf, Barker lost the game 2-1 to to Valencia, meaning they ended the season with only one trophy. Messi still has nightmares from this season, and Mateo knows it too, so he uses it to get at his dad. Mateo likes the shirt of every team that has defeated me, and he wears them. But the last time we were playing PlayStation, he and me, he'll choose Liverpool, the ones that defeated me. He understands a little, but he doesn't realize it yet. Just like when we lost against Valencia, he says the same thing. The ball's on this kid. But regardless, Messi stills Mateo, probably because of how competitive the kid is. He just doesn't quit. But Messi's love for Mateo was put to the test when he almost embarrassed him in front of his adoring fans. Ever since Messi became the face of Barker right after Ronaldo Ho left, he had fans filling up Camp Nou just so they could see him play. Some even came because they wanted to catch a picture of what Messi's kid looked like. In the opening game of the 2019-2020 season, Barcelona was up against Real Betis. Now, Messi had suffered an injury in the months before, so he was unable to play this one. But being the Barca captain, he couldn't afford not to be there. So together with Mateo and Luis Suarez, who was injured too, they all made it to the stadium and got to the stands. But this proved to be a huge mistake because seconds later, Mateo had his dad feeling embarrassed and faced with thousands of angry Barca fans. Betis broke on the counter and Nabil Fekker scored to put them in front. The new camp was angry and they were whistling to boo the goal. But from Messi's corner, they could hear sounds of someone celebrating, and when they turned to look, they couldn't believe it. It was Mateo. He was celebrating the Betis goal, and even though Luis Suarez tried to shut him up and tell him not to, the kid continued, and even had a huge smile on his face too. Messi couldn't help but laugh, man, because he knew Mateo was up to no good. But unfortunately for him, some Barker fans didn't find it funny, and they were pissed about the whole thing. At least Messi was able to play this one down as a joke, but a few years later, and this time even Antonella had to get involved, because this time Messi did the unthinkable and attacked his own fans. In the 2022 World Cup, Messi was on a mission. See, Messi knew this edition was going to be special because he had publicly announced that this would be his last World Cup. So this time, his family was all in attendance, including Matteo. But the tournament didn't go off to a proper start for them because in the opening game, they suffered a shock defeat to Saudi Arabia. They managed to progress from the group by winning the last two games, but it was in the round of 16 that the real drama happened. And this time, it was featuring the two Messies, Leo and Mateo. Leo was out balling on the pitch, and just before the break, he gave Argentina the lead with an impressive shot into the bottom corner. But up away in the stands, Mateo was doing something that could have damaged his legacy as a national icon. No way, he was throwing gum at the fans. They all turned to look in his direction, and they tried to hide from it, but even his mom wasn't letting him go that easy, and she gave him a telling off. Messi's admitted in the past that he's the one who usually does the shouting at his kids when they go wrong, but for Antonella to get involved, you can bet it was pretty bad. Lucky for Matteo and Leo, this didn't affect his performance, because they won the match 2-1 and went on to win the World Cup, with Matteo even coming pitch side to celebrate with his dad. Mateo can be really annoying sometimes, and that's why Messi's been hiding stuff about his life and his siblings too, because he's afraid of what it'll do to him. But don't worry, I've got you covered. Click the next video to find out what Messi's been hiding about his kids.